My name is Joshua Fernandez. I'm 17 years old and some of my hobbies are football, cheerleading, instrument playing, singing. Ways I'm involved in Racegate are for the last four years I've been involved in different places but Fuel, which is our high school youth group, Salt, which is our like performing arts development program, <laughs> and uh, Worship. Um, I'm in one of the Worship bands and I play bass. Well, I grew up as a Christian and we went to a church called ECG in Thailand, but we only went like once every seven months. <laughs> I have one memory there and that's of eating watermelon really fast outside. Um, and that was really the extent of my Christianity in my childhood. Like we'd pray and like before dinner and stuff and like we'd pray about things, but it wasn't really a connection. It was just, we were just, I was just doing it. I stole my brother's truck <laughs> like four weeks ago and I lived in the back of it for 10 or 11 days um, because I wanted to read the Bible and I, I had already set that goal at the beginning of the year and I was like I, like I read Genesis and I was like oh cool but then I put it on the side and I was like oh I'll do it tomorrow and then tomorrow came and I was like oh I'll do it tomorrow and then it just kept on being postponed and then I was just like you know what I just gotta throw myself in the deep end and be like there's nothing else that I could do but read the Bible and play guitar and then I lived in it somewhere in on the coast and I read the Bible basically all the time and and then that's when I was like huh some of these stories like apparently it was written like 2600 years ago or something and like they're still like relatable in a way and like kind of like and give hope in a way and I was like this is cool that was just like the start I was sitting with my friend Ethan and I, I told him oh you know no one from my church's message me and then, like, 12 seconds later, like, Wes messaged me, and he was like, hey, you should come to Craig Gochelle. And I was like, what? Uh, okay. And he was like, oh, just tell me if you can. And I was like, okay. But I never did. And then the day came, and he was like, are you coming? And I was like, yeah, all right, I'll come. I was sitting there, and I forgot, like, most of my stuff at home, like, all my things that were supposed to distract me. And then I was like, okay, I guess I have to pay attention. So I was, I was listening to him, and he was talking, and I was like, how is someone so, like, passionate about something they like can't know for sure. And so I was sitting there and I was like, there's something else to it. So during one of the breaks, I went up to his wife. <laughs> I asked her a question and she just gave like an answer with like such confidence and it just like hit me and I was like, huh. At that moment, like I was like, if I, if I live my life the way they are, which is like fully trusting God, all right, I'll try that. I tried like rekindling friendships and stuff and like it wasn't working too well. I just gotta trust God like, actually like 100% like I had to like really believe and then when I did that like my friends just literally were like bang 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 like all of them started working again this is crazy weird how this is happening and then I was like some people that I'd like to thank <laughs> is uh person anyone that's like shown me any like type of love every staff member at Gracegate and every person that comes to Gracegate like I don't know I think one thing that kept on bringing me back was like seeing other people like loving sometimes I did things that like people shouldn't love me <laughs> and then they still did and I was like no one would do that without like something bigger and like God loves you no matter what and so they're obviously like doing the God thing of loving you even sometimes when you don't deserve it um, and so that's one of the things so that's why I want to thank those people but specifics is like my family Jordan my mom and dad and yes, even Nathan, like, he's taught me some things as well. The Joneses, they're one of those people that have shown me love, especially when I don't deserve it. Nate Saluni, always answering my questions on, like, late night calls, like, hey, what does this mean? <laughs> he's like, okay, thanks. Oh, and long beach walks. Oh, Wes and, and like, you, were like, when I worked here, I was a pain. I was a, I was a real pain. <laughs> I, was, I was late, I was always late. <laughs> but, like, you guys still, like, kept your cool and you are like, it's okay, we'll work through this. God. Yeah, I want to thank him. The, the difference that this church has made in my life is crazy because before this church, I was a kid that liked to play Clash of Clans. That's really it, that's, that's it. And since I've come here, the church has given me so many different options. Like I, I started learning how to play bass here. I learned how to play guitar here, um, piano. Um, I got involved in my community more and then like I realized like that I love loving people and they showed me my favorite book, Love Does. <laughs> so, uh, that one I'm very really grateful for. They've given me so many paths and options and, and they're always just there. 
they're never like, nah, you probably shouldn't do that. They're like, you want to do that? All right, let's give it a go. And then, and then they, you know, they give you the shot. Like, and, and, and even if you fail, they're, they're like, it's okay, you can try again. Like, they don't like judge you, no one. They accept you and they, they try to help you in whatever way they can. Okay, the last like seven months of my life have been pretty weird. I've been pretty sad. I literally opened a book, I don't even remember which one, and it was like Mark 9, 22 to 23 or something. And he was talking about how this guy just asked God if he can do anything like to do it, and then God was like, I can't do anything, I'm God. He can do anything for those who believe, and I was like, well, I just gotta believe then. So I like, I just sat back and I was like, God, and I, was like I got to just believe. And so when I did, yeah, I just changed. I don't know, there is really no risk. If he isn't real, like, you, you still have all those good morals, you have all of those, like, it's still a good way to live life. I Meaning, I, I believe it's real. And so, just taking that next step, you just open yourself up to so many more opportunities and, like, you can take bigger risks. Today, I want to go public with my faith because I believe that Jesus is my Savior. And I want to take my next step in faith by getting baptized, and I want everyone to know who He is and why it's important to me. And that's because He loves everyone, and He loves me, and He loves you. And yeah.